The Miami Heat trying to dodge their third straight loss Wednesday against the Celtics team, just trying to dodge the injury bug these days. Almost as soon as they got Kevin Garnett back in the lineup, they're now without Paul Pierce, who sprained his left foot Monday against the Wizards. So guys would have to step up. As I mentioned, KG back, they're 3-3 three and three with him in the lineup. And he got it going early on. Big jam. On the other end, Dwayne Wade answering with the driving layup. Still in the first. It's Rajon Rondo. Almost has the ball stripped, but he's strong. Recovers the ball. Puts it up and in. Eddie House. Instant offense. As soon as he touches the floor, knocks down the three. Rasheed Wallace. They need him to start playing big. He knocks it down. Three of ten from the field. Just seven points for him. Boston's lead at seven. Soon possession for the Heat. It's Wade putting the team on his back as he likes to do. His team within three. Momentarily. Michael Beasley knocks down the triple. Ties the game at 51 off. Two-point game in the third net. Rondo feeling it from distance. Knocks down the triple. 22 points, 14 assists from him. Meanwhile, off the tip, he'd have it. Long pass ahead to Wade, who lays it in. 73-70 game. Off the miss. Quinton Richardson with the rebound and the putback jam. Fourth quarter now. Ray Allen stroking from deep. One of the best to ever do it. 23 points on the night for him. Celtics on the break now. Rondo with the assist. Kendrick Perkins lays it in. It's okay to smile, big fella. 10-point lead for the Celtics. And Wade refusing to let his team go quietly. 30 points and 13 assists. But the C's had an answer for everything Wade could do. Eddie House lays it in. 16 points off the bench. Then it's Garnett. On the block, tough as they come. Fade away, go. 14 points, season nine, nine assists as well. Celtics eclipse 100 points for the first time in nine games, winning for the second straight time, while Miami loses for the fifth time in six games.